Hello friends, this is Priya. Welcome to ValueTrainings.com. Today under SOPUI training, I'm going to start how REST works with JSON and where it actually placed in my flow if I am saying that two of the web services, two of the applications, two of the browsers wants to communicate through a server. Okay, so these all are the topics which I'm going to cover today. What is REST architecture? What is JSON? How it works and all. Okay. So let's start with the very first thing, what is REST architecture? In my last session, I did tell you REST is my representational state transfer, it's acronym, and it is actually the building blocks which it will assign us, which it will give us to follow, to perform, to fire some of the things under the SOAP UI as my tool. Okay, so it is the outline, only the outline, these are not the protocols. Okay, as SOAP was my protocol, I, I did tell you in my last uh, one of the sessions. Okay, so now let us discuss in more detail. See, the REST is one which can work with JSON as well as with XML. Okay, but SOAP is one which can just work with XML. So let's see where I can place the JSON, where I can place the XML and the languages which I am going to follow. Here somewhere it's SOAP or, Re SOAP or REST and here the languages in which request and response are are going to be followed will be there okay so if it is so i did tell you then it will be xml only if it is rest then it can be xml and it can be json or it can be json also okay but rest with json is a very famous these days and generally the testing is going to done with rest with json okay so come back to the same thing Okay, so rest with JSON, I'll explain. Now, what about rest with XML? See, rest with XML is also going to cover in the same manner as SOAP with XML. Understand? The tags, you do need tags, what kind of tags, these are not, this is not at all useful. Only this is very useful, rest with JSON. Okay, so now let's see how JSON works. So what is JSON? The acronym for JSON is JavaScript Object Notation. It is actually one of the scripting language and it is going to work only the one condition. It is going to work within a key value pair. Okay. And how it looks? How it looks? I did also show you. If the tags under, if the tags under my XML is like this, start tag and the data. This is for XML, right? I did show you. And this is for, if I say, start tag, the same name. Or instead of this, you can write end tag. Okay. And if I want to write the same thing, what I can write? Uh, if the name is my tag name, and name ends over here, and the data, say if it is Priya Nishan. Okay. So this is the thing which I am doing with the help of XML. But what about JSON? How I can write the same thing in the JSON format? It's very easy and simple. You just need curly braces start and curly braces end. And within curly braces, uh, you will write the key as name and the Priya as the value. Okay, so this is the only thing which you do need for the JSON. No headache of tags if it is closed or not, if it is end, if I add the forward slash or not. So JSON is more easier to understand and more easy, it's more readable actually. Okay, so that's why JSON is preferred. And okay, how REST works with JSON? How REST works, the same thing which I show you for the SOAP, I'll show you for REST. See, if I say this is my complete request, is this correct? Yes, it is correct. Username is my key. Only which thing I do need for rest is key value pair. Okay, so username is my key and Priya Nishchal is the value. And the second key value pair, if it is coming with the first key value pair, I just need a comma. I just need a comma to separate and then a second key value pair. And everything will be within the curly braces. Okay, and what about response? How a response will look? Again, a key value pair, login status is success and end. Save some more tags, some more key value pairs will be there. It will look like this. Okay. So with a comma, the key value pair are separate. So this is all about how REST actually works and how it actually looks. Okay. So now the next thing is how REST works with XML. 
what do you think how rest works with eczema see rest with eczema as i explained it is going to work in the same manner as soap works with eczema tags you do need username password and all other tags including the status including the session id many more things okay but as i said rest station is more famous okay now the last topic for the current session is rest with json and rest with apm what is the meaning of this it's a rest as my architecture which i'm going to use and json as a language which i'm going to use to communicate okay so if i said rest with json if i'm going to use rest and json then it is rest with json testing okay what about rest with api testing this is very famous rest with json what about rest api if i'm going to use rest as my architecture and going to test any api then it is rest api testing okay so what is api let us discuss about api api is application programming interface which is actually place where application is present it is the location um okay let me show you with the help of okay see if this is something and okay just a minute i will tell you what i am doing so gui is this one i'll say this is as my g so what is gui it's graphical user interface for any of the application okay so gui is placed above api i can tell you about api api is my application programming interface on the api it's gui so with the rest with the help of rest i am going to test api so if i say rest api then i am going to work with with any of the api but not with gui for gui we do have some other testing techniques okay and rest with json or rest with api testing is my testing which i am going to cover okay so it is very famous you will see rest with api testing at many of the places okay so this is all about the topics for today see you in the next session thank you